So this is not a material science class. And overall, I'm a little worried if we make this model in real life that this part of the curve right here, there won't be enough material here and this would break. So we probably would need to add quite a bit more than we're about to add. But what I'm gonna do is just add in a little bit right here. And then I will do the same thing on the other side. But I need to do it in a way that's not gonna interfere with the actual can itself. So I'm gonna make the can visible. Now I don't have uh, x-ray on, I just have a uh, viewport shading on. It might be easier to do this in solid shading. Um, definitely could use a different color if you're gonna do this, but I'm gonna go and do it right here so I can see all the uh, edges and vertices super clear. So first thing I'm gonna do is fill here. Make sure that you actually have two vertices selected. Don't fill if you have more than two, because I only want to make that one line right there. Oops, and that's not even the line I want. I want to go here. So I want to go from here. I don't have a vertex right here. That's where I want to go is connect this vertex over to here. So I'm going to go E for extrude. And where do I want to go with it? Now I have vertex snapping on, so I can snap to vertexes that are not in this particular object, and that's exactly what I'd like. So snap to right there, and I'm gonna go extrude again and snap right over to here. This way, it's perfectly lined up here. And now I need to join these two. So I hit J for join, but you can only join two vertices that are already connected. So I'm gonna hit F for fill instead. And now I'm going to fill these two, putting in that line, but I've got no faces here. So I'm gonna go one at a time. I have three vertices selected. You can see it in the statistics. Now when I fill this, I get the actual edge I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna select these four vertices, fill. Uh-oh, something happened here. Maybe Alt F, no. There we go, somehow that worked. All right, I have eight edges, that's, hmm, that's not good. I have more edges than I should have. Well, when in doubt, you can always go and merge by distance. vertices hmm something weird is going on all right hey we have four vertices here excellent so we'll fill that five vertices here obviously something is wrong that's an origin point the orange point you see over there don't worry about that let's turn the can on. oh there we go ah, now I see what the problem is So I have a feeling I screwed some stuff up over here. So let's go to edge select. I'm gonna delete these three edges. Make sure that you're going only edges and faces. Don't wanna take out those vertices. I subdivided this right here. So let's go and dissolve the edge. Now it looks a lot better. I don't think I really need the can at this moment. And look at that. Fill that in. All right, so we have our faces here. You do need to pay attention to normals and I don't have edge uh, orientation turned on. So I'm not worried about that at the moment. So how do we finish filling this out? Cause this is two dimensions, but I need to basically make it three dimensions. So there's a few ways to do it. Let's go face select. So I could extrude here. Now this is going to be a tricky extrusion. All right, that's probably not the best way to do it. I think maybe better. If I just build it this way, so we'll extrude these guys. Now, how do I want to drag this shift Z so that it didn't seem to work. 
Oh, we can always grab it and scale it in the Z. And I have snapping on, so it moved it correctly in the Z. So clearly now I need to drag it. I want this. What do I want? This is actually probably okay. Fill that. Fill that. Now we can start to close things off. So fill that. Fill that. Now it's getting a lot better. And let's change the shading. All right. There we go. Now we're cooking. So I'm holding down shift to deselect and then reselect. And I am making triangles, not quads at the moment. I'm not too worried about that right now. So what we want to do here, now this is more up to you, what you think would be reasonable. I'm going to go and fill that, fill that. And we're getting there. I think I need to extrude this a little bit. There we go. I'll go back to vertices for ultimate control. I don't want to connect to that one back there, but just, oops, just those three fill, fill, fill. We are getting there, slowly closing this off. Fill, 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 and I think I can quad, nope, well, it's pretty flat, but it's not perfectly flat, so let's not quad it off, let's just fill with two triangles. There we go, all right, is that beautiful? No comment, but it looks functional. Added some strength. I think that one's probably protruding out a little too much. So we'll grab it, shift Z. And oops, I have snapping on. Maybe even merge that into nothing. I think that's good enough. Maybe I'll vertex. Oh, that's what I want. There we go. So now snapping is off. So I'm going to grab shift Z so I don't move it down or up. I think that's pretty good. If you're really obsessed and want to make this a little bit nicer, you could play around a little bit by kind of smoothing it out right here. But I don't want to delete faces. This is good enough for us. One thing you should notice, I did keep everything perfectly flat. So all the Z coordinates of these... I was about to say they're going to be zero, uh, but they all should be the same. Technically, this is the bottom of the, somewhere around here, I made the bottom of the can. So the bottom of the can, I, I thought was at the Z coordinate of zero. This goes slightly below the can. So all these vertices at the very bottom should have the exact same Z coordinate. And one nice way to tell, I have it switching into orthogonal view when I look down an axis. But you can see right here, maybe turn on x-ray. You can see that they're all lined up with the same Z coordinate right here at the bottom. Now, if I was making a real 3D model, I'd probably want to drop these down as well. Let's see, GZ, so that this actually sits all on the ground flat. Uh, or another thing you could do is Let's go to face select. You could extrude some of this downward a little bit so that it's actually flat. That looks really ugly, but so it wouldn't tip over in the real world, but this is not the real world. So I'm not worried about making this part flat, but the very bottom of this does need to be flat so it doesn't tip over. Uh, you can clean this up so it looks a lot smoother. I just did a rough filling in right there.